let's take a look at how Octane deals with displacement. There are some important things we need to know. First, Octane displacement works with texture maps, with rasterized images. So do not expect to have uh, procedurals work with that. There is a way to have procedurals work uh, as a displacement texture and we will see it. But at the moment you have to consider you, you should use a texture map. Second rule, you need a UV map for your object or the displacement is not going to work. Third rule, you don't have to use light wave sub patches. You need to use the open subdivisions available in Octane. So let's create a simple box. A modeler setting the weight to 25 meters and the depth to 25 meters. I'm also creating a UV map for this object and you know a planar UV map the Y axis is perfect in this case so let's take a look at the UV texture here it is and let's save the object obtain displacement we can now send the object to layout And I'm going to change the grid size to one meter. Okay. And now let's start to play with Octane displacement. So let's open the surface editor and then the node editor for the surface of the object. What we're going to do is a material, an Octane material, then Octane displacement node and of course an Octane texture image node. Let's connect the material, the Octane displacement node to the displacement input of the material and then the texture to the texture input. If we activate IPR now and choose a different camera angle. Okay, we're going to get this. Okay. Of course, we don't see anything because no image is specified in the Octane Texture Image node. We can load this image, which is available in the uh, Octane for Lightwave content and then all we have to do is to change the amount value in the Octane displacement node. You see the result in real time. Super fast. We can also change the level of detail for a very from a very low one to an extremely high detail. You can set the level of detail up to eight key, so that's really a lot. Of course, the detail you need it's relative to the resolution of the map you're using. In this case, we're using a two key map, so probably two key is the best choice. So now, what if we want to use procedural texture as a displacement in Octane? So first, let's add a light wave procedural texture. I'm going to use 
a turbulence let's detach this diffuse color and we don't need this image anymore and you may notice how in the octane texture image we have a procedural input node so we can connect our procedural to that node and now you can see how the turbulence texture is displacing the plane let's do something to improve the quality of the displacement first let's activate HDR raster and you already see how now it looks really better and let's increase the procedural raster size value to something like one key of course we can increase the frequencies I'm going to set it to 12 so we can see some detail and the contrast maybe a little too much okay we can notice this problem on the borders to solve this all we have to do is to go back in modeler and resize the UV a little bit so the borders are not on the edge of the UV space so back to layout and now you can see the, the problem with the borders solved now let's increase the amount of displacement so and we can really uh, really have fun with light wave procedurals applied to the procedural input here what happens uh, it's that the node is rasterizing the procedural so uh, we can use any combination of procedurals and not only procedurals because if we want we can use a color layer so let's add another procedural here like turbulence again frequencies at 12 and let's attach it so now we're we're using this node not the turbulence anymore and we can go on adding other textures we can have those combined using any blending mode in lightwave so now you can see both textures displacing the plane we can of course use image maps so we already have this image loaded so now we can bring turbulence on top and change the blending mode to something like multiply maybe and get a completely different result we can change the opacity value I think it's difference for example set opacity to 100 again and yeah the combination of bitmaps and procedurals is really really powerful and can drastically change the way the displacement looks
The way a displacement works in Octane really shows how deep the integration between Lightwave and this awesome render engine is. Used together, both Lightwave and Octane really give you an incredible creative power. Thanks for watching.